In today's video, we're going to solve for the how I display podcast on my website so people can click on a date range or the categories to find my podcast, especially if you have hundreds, if not thousands of podcast episodes on your WordPress website. I know I say this a lot, but it's a very common question. This, what I'm answering today is a, one of the top questions. How do I show my podcast so people can click on it and find it in a date range or in a category? Let's get some caveats out of the way. What I'm showing you today is Search and Filter Pro. It will cost you $20 for one website to get this or $75, 75 for unlimited podcast, uh, WordPress websites for your podcast if you have many, many podcasts uh, out there. So Search and Filter Pro. There is a free version in WordPress.org. It really is just a way for you to display a search form field and to do some lightweight searching of some stuff the search and filter pro plugin adds a lot more power to it i will say that it's also kind of on the advanced side not kind of it is on the advanced side i'll show you how to get this stuff up and running today um, the good news is is that for those of you that use elementor there's a free elementor add-on to bring the search and filter thing that we build today into elementor to make your life a lot easier and i spoke to the developer of this tool and he informed me that there's a version three coming with even more Elementor support and even better uh, features to the plugin itself. Okay, let's dive in to the search and filter plugin. I've already built one because it takes a little bit of time. And here it is. It's called My First Podcast Search. I'm going to edit it. Now, as I mentioned, it's a it's a pretty advanced plugin. Search is a pretty big thing. This is why it's not easily solved. It's why most plugins charge for it because there's just a lot of overhead. There's a lot of thinking. There's a lot of dynamics around search uh, and filtering in WordPress. It's also why this is more of a WordPress thing than it is a seriously simple podcast plugin thing. We can't just solve it for one use case because so many people have so many different setups that it'd be, we would need this entire plugin rolled into <laughs> seriously simple podcasting. And at this time, we're not going to do that. So we're going to omit a lot of this stuff and I'm going to just get hyper-focused on displaying a podcast uh, on the page. So you can see I have just the podcast custom post type checked off and uh, we want to just avoid all this other content because we're only focused on the podcast. Now, if you switched your podcast to use WordPress posts or another custom post type, you would check that off here. So if you switch to post, certainly check off your posts if that's what you're using. But in our example, we're using just the podcast. A lot of the other options here are either self-explanatory or really advanced that you'd have to be a developer to understand them. But just know that there's always these little helpful hints that you can hover over if something doesn't make sense to you. Uh, and uh, for example, like I unchecked auto submit form because I wanted a submit button uh, for somebody to click off. I wanted them to select the criteria and then hit submit for the search to happen instead of the form just doing it as soon as somebody uh, filled something out. So that was just my take on it. I also did an or field uh, relationship change. By default, it sits with and, and I'll explain that in a moment. I switch it to or, you'll see why in a second. Okay, we scroll down a little bit more. We've already dis defined we want to make this just for our podcast. And we, now we have these available fields to us. So if you've ever spent any time building a, a contact form using something like Gravity Forms or Ninja Forms, you're sort of used to this thing where I grab the fields and I drag it into the builder and that's how I want to build my search. So hold that moment for a second. We're going to put that submit button right back. You can see down here in the search form UI, I have the post date and the tag because what I'm saying is, hey, I want to give my uh, visitor the ability to search by either the, the date of the episodes or by the tag, or you might refer to them as categories, we, we use the tag field uh, in the category of the podcast. What does that look like first? So let's take a look. When I go to my page that has the search filter on it, these first two fields are the date range that you saw before. So I can select date range uh, from and to, and you, you'll see why in a moment, like, it doesn't say anything, right? It's a little confusing, but I'm gonna show you how to fix that. And then these are all the tags that I could select from. But you notice there's no submit button. Where's that submit button? So let's go back so I can demonstrate how this process works. We'll bring the submit button in, hit submit. 
And then we'll change the label to find my podcast, exclamation point. Update it. Go back to filtering podcast page, hit refresh. And there's the search button. So now I can set my criteria. Let's say I want to show all the podcasts with cars in it. And you can see right here, there's four of them. I'll click on find my podcast. And it'll show the four podcasts that have been assigned the uh, cars tag. Taking a peek at that in my podcast section. Um, I've just filled out a handful of tags here. You can see right here, these are the cars. Those are the episodes that displayed. Trailer episode, here's my name. Trailer episode, here's my name. So you can see those are the cars tags that we that we use to organize this. Now remember, custom post types, it has tags associated with it in Seriously Simple Podcast. Okay, that's the overall 50,000 foot view that you saw it in action. How do we just refine this a little bit more? How do we make it a little bit sharper? Let's go back in. And we will edit this. Now you see, remember when I said I switched it from and to or, that's because these fields here, post date, tag, uh, if I left it at and, and I submitted a search before, I would have needed to set the criteria for both. So if I wanted a date range, let's say the first uh, to the 30th, having all tags checked off, the search when I hit find my podcasts with and, they would both have to work together. So I would have to say, hey, we're looking for podcasts in this date range and these categories. Whereas I want the or operator because I want the user to say, hey, either give me the date range or <laughs> the categories, right? So that's how I set that up. Skipping down, we'll go post date. So here's what I want to show you. I can add headings to this, to these sections, and I can uh, customize uh, the prefix. We're going to add a heading. So we're going to say, find my podcasts by date range, colon. And you can see down here, UI options is the from uh, prefix to prefix. They also have postfix, which is pretty cool. So we can say from to, and this basically allows you to sort of set these labels uh, if you so choose. And then the tag, we're going to add a heading. Uh, find my podcast by cast by, all right, you know what? I'll say or big exclamation, uh, big capital or by category. Now I know it says by tag, that's a technical WordPress term, but most of our visitors will probably understand category instead. So we'll hit update. And we will refresh this page. Boom. So we see find my podcast by date range from, and I can pick my from date range to, I can pick it up to, and then, or I can say by category, and I've labeled these sections now. And I've given... Uh, the visitor sort of the choice or the power to search these these um, on my podcast by whatever date range. I, I don't know what I have in here for, I think I have some that were actually labeled in 2019. So if I go to, let's say September 2020, and we'll say the first here, I don't know if this is going to return a result, but let's try it. It doesn't. So I don't have any in that date range. I can play with the date range. Uh, you can play with the date range as well for your uh, for your podcast. But this plugin does make it pretty simple to create that uh, you know that build out, that filterable view. You could add in some other stuff if you wanted to. Uh, if you wanted a reset button, if you wanted people to be able to select a post type. I mean, I know we focused on just the podcast here, but you could give your user. Uh, the ability to check off, especially if you maybe you have podcasts on multiple custom post types or custom post types in post, like you can give folks the ability to say, hey, here's the type of podcast I'm looking for, and then filter it down even further. It's a pretty powerful tool. Um, oh, we'll add series. Let's add series really quick. Uh, let's delete this. And what we want is 
the taxonomy. And we want it from the podcast series. Uh, and let's say this one is, well, I'll make this one a checkbox. For the heck of it. And say, select a series. I say, or close. Update. Refresh. So I only have two series uh, in this podcast or on this website. Um, and then I could select a series from here as well. It's just checks, check boxes versus radio buttons. I could have do, I could have done drop downs, something like that. Uh, but you can see how granular you can get. It is fairly easy to use once you get into it. And for twenty dollars, if you have a really big archive of pod, of uh, podcast archive. Um, it's well worth the $20 to give that access to your potential visitor so that they can see um, all the stuff that you have in your podcast. It's pretty powerful and uh, fairly affordable when it comes to WordPress add-ons. Like I said, Search and Filter Pro, they have a version 3 coming fairly soon with even more uh, Elementor support or at least better Elementor support. It does work with Elementor now. If you go into their documentation, they have a bunch of stuff uh, in their documentation, you can see what other third-party uh, tools it works with. Beaver Builder, Divi, um, Dynamic Content for Elementor, which is a very popular plugin. Lots of stuff here. Check it out. Searchandfilter.com for $20. You can get that search and filter view for your podcast on your WordPress website. Let us know if you have any questions. Thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe. <laughs> That's what I was looking for. Subscribe to the channel if you want more stuff like this. Okay, I'll see you in the next episode.